Hey, how you doing? My name is Art and welcome to another video. Today is a very interesting day. I picked up a lot, well, today is Saturday as I'm recording this and I picked up some books. For some strange reason, my regular store didn't have the books that I was supposed to be getting, so I didn't find out about it until after I go to another store and I picked up some more stacks. So I was like, less than half of this was at my store. So I was like, what the hell's going on here? So that means I'm gonna have to go and check and see what's really going on. But anyway, a lot of things happened today. I was hanging out with a friend today. Um, I went to work earlier. <laughs> yeah, I went to work earlier this morning. Worked for about a good five hours. Got a, pretty much a lot of done. Um, feel like I'm tired. After that, um, relaxed a little bit. Ate a little. Ate, ate a sandwich for lunch. Then met a friend. Then met a fr met. Uh, then met up with a friend. And it was for an autograph signing. So we'll start with that first. So. If you are a wrestling fan, then especially during the you know the Attitude Era, and then of course the Ruthless Aggression Era, you might have heard of this wrestler. And the funny thing is, he was really, really, really cool. Said that it, it, I mean, it wasn't a long line to say the least, but. He spent he spent time to talk with people and everything else, and, and I got about a couple pictures with this person. I I tell you the truth, I didn't even see what the pictures looked like. Let me look. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, they even took a video. Sweet. That's going to be going up on Instagram and stuff later. So, without further ado, he's also a Hall of Famer. The Godfather. All about the whole train. He was so cool. He was talking about, you know, he was talking about back in the day. He used to come to, he used to come, when they wrestled here, they go to this one establishment that I used to hang out at. So that was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so other than that, so what happened was naturally when we were sitting there, this place had some really great wrestling figures. And I was like, oh my gosh. And they had good prices very good prices see like a lot of times when i buy a wrestling figure it's a little jacked up the price is a little bit jacked up usually the price should be around about 18 and 19 dollars most places where i see my wrestling figures the ones i want they're like 25 to 30. these are pretty you know well decent so let's show you what i got the first one i was looking for this for a while Karrion Cross, especially since he's not with WWE anymore. Um, definitely wanted one of these guys. Definitely wanted one of this. This is like 25 bucks, which is pretty reasonable. Really cool. Now his girlfriend Scarlett. I'll be getting that one. As soon as I find that one, I'll be getting that one pretty soon. I was I was amazed that I found this one. The Sasha Banks WrestleMania Championship title. Love this. Love Sasha Banks. Last but not least, this is a figure that I've been looking for for a while, and a lot of people has been looking for it. And I just looked up and I found it, 
And then what happens, my friend was like, oh my God, I'm looking for that one too. And he said, you know, go ahead and get it because he picked up a lot of figures. And the thing is, he also picked up a figure for his wife. So, Brandy Rhodes. This figure is kind of freaking hard to find. Very freaking hard to find. So, very happy I got that. Very happy. Now the question is, is going on my wall somewhere. So, hey. Yeah, I got more. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to uh, take some of these other ones down and just put new ones up to, you know, make it seem more interesting, so to speak. So give it a new look. Just trying to figure out which ones to take down is the issue. The builder figures are always going to stay up, so that's fine. That's fine. Just some other figures. But other than that, after that, we went, we went our separate ways. I uh, went to my car to the quick car wash because I had to. Funny thing is, I had to pee. And it's like, oh my God. So, you know, hey, nature calls. Took my car to the car wash. Did my business. Then I sprayed off the car and I sprayed off the ground around me. And the car knocked off the knocked off the, the built up ice around the wheel wells and stuff like that because it's snowing. Well, it's not snowing, but it's lots of snow. And sometimes driving with that impact ice in your wheel well doesn't really do very good performance for your car, especially it rubs it. And sometimes it can damage your tires, so that's good. So I went to my two. So I went to two comic book stores. My first, my my store. I said, "Oh wow, I don't have that much." And I'm fine. I was like, "Cool." Picked it up, bounced out. Picked up one book there, bounced out. Went to the set my backup store. Found some books that should have been in my pull box, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna take a look and see what's actually in my pull box, because it's time for me to start downsizing some stuff. So first thing is is Star Wars The High Republic number 14. Really loving this story. I love The High Republic. This is the era before The Phantom Menace for the first trilogy and all that. This is a new one. Star Wars The Hel Halcyon Legacy with a Jedi Wookiee. I wonder if this is that legendary Jedi Wookiee that I've been hearing about for years. Maybe that's him. Don't know. Crimson Dawn, Crimson Rain, number two. And for some reason, oh, you know what? I was trying to figure out why there's so, such a glare. Let me see something. Nah, it's still such a glare. Yeah. Probably because these bags. Yeah, most likely the bags. Excellent number one, which is cool. The Reckoning War. I was wait. I couldn't. You know, I was looking for this, and what happened was, I got this for thirty percent off because they came damaged. So that was awesome. He said, if you really want one, you can buy it, but it's thirty. He gave you thirty percent off. Plus, you know, some that store, some they're not giving all those books that you order, so you have to keep special ordering them and stuff like that. But anyway. Cross over number 11. Don't know if I'm going to keep up with the story. It's kind of cool that, like, what if comic book characters in real life, like like you and me, what it would look like. And what happens if you're a comic book character, you're technically are shoved away, putting in, it's like a jail cell kind of thing, because it scares regular people. But, you know, uh, probably after number 12, if it doesn't get better, I'll probably just drop it. This is one I was looking for, and I'm surprised I didn't have it. Alien number nine. I'm gonna probably keep this for like, probably gonna keep this for like, ten, like another year or so because it's it's alien. I mean, it's not, it's not gonna be really anything more than just. The, to me, the alien novelty wore off. So I mean, they own the rights of Predator, so I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm surprised they didn't drop a Predator series yet. This is one book I've been looking for, Sabretooth number one, Daredevil, Woman Without Fear number two. I was looking for this book, Noctera the Black Bill Special. 
Blacktop Bill Special. New Burn number three. I'm really liking this story. This could be a good TV show or a movie. Imagine a old detect police detective who technically works for the mobs to keep the peace. So anything happen, he's investigated to make sure anything you know. That would be a good TV drama. So what? Netflix, buy that shit. Who written? Who wrote this? Chip Todarski. If this gets picked up for a TV show, if that's one. If any kind of show that should be picked up for a TV show, that should be good. I mean, only read three. Ep this is my only read two. This is number issue three, and the first two was pretty awesome. Wow. Noctera number seven. Well, of course, you could tell it's Spawn. I just couldn't remember 326 because it celebrates the 30 years of Image being introduced. Can't believe that Image has been around for 30 years. I remember when it just came out <laughs> and, uh, and the hype surrounding that. The, the Ten Lives or Egg, the Ten Lives of Wolverine number two. Now, this one is one this could make a now this book right here could make a really great TV show or mini series cuz it's so unlikely that something like this will ever happen but it's hilariously funny and um DJ Lynx talks about this and so I bought it Chicken Devil it is hilariously funny imagine What's that show? There was a movie back in the nineties called uh, I think it was called Fallen. Now when a, a guy just goes nuts, he's a straight laced guy. And he just goes nuts because of some because he couldn't take it anymore. He just goes nuts and start doing random sh vigilante shit. Imagine a man who owns a chicken like a Kentucky Fried Chicken, fast food Kentucky Fried Chicken, something like that. Gets caught up. His partner gets caught up with the mob, running drugs with them, and then. They come to collect, and he gets caught in the middle. He thinks his family dies, and they're trained, and they're and the mob is trying to chase him. And he's starting to fight back. Yeah, this is it's funny. Last but not least, the eighty-page giant Geiger special. This show, sorry, this comic came out by. Um, Shit. Jeff Johns after he getting kicked out of DC how the hell you let go of Jeff Johns I'm very partial to Jeff Johns because he's from Detroit he's from the Detroit area and you know he he was trained on he was where he worked for Richard Donner the guy who created the Christopher Reeve Superman movies and stuff like that so he knows how to write and I guess he had a falling out with DC and now he does his own thing and this thing is freaking Gary, well, Gary Frank the artwork is amazing the sh story is amazing and I'm going to tell you something Geiger is one of those books that you got to read if you have the chance and other than that I spent a lot of time today basically outside the home I'm back home now in about an hour or so, I got to pick up my niece from her boyfriend's house because she asked me to. And uh, it's kind of funny. My niece is 18 years old now. She gra She's about to graduate high school in the next couple of months. She got accepted to seven colleges. The only thing is she's waiting on to see if she got scholarships. And so I'm like, I'm super proud of her. Super proud of her. Hopefully she don't get saddled with uh, student loan debt like I did. Hopefully she don't. So if she does, if she don't, that'd be awesome. Otherwise, she's going to be just like me and uh, millions of other people. <laughs> Paying back a debt that's for years and years and years. And... I'll, maybe I know I talked about that once or twice, but I'll, I'll 
but I will revisit that. I will revisit a video about that and I'm going to tell you my thoughts about this. But anyway. Yeah, see. Fun day. Fun day. But other than that, I want to thank you for watching. If you if you're one of my subscribers and you watch this, awesome. I love that. If you want to leave me a comment, leave me a <coughs> Oh, but gosh. You want to leave me some words down there, or over there, or over there, or however your device that you're looking at, leave me some words. Um, let me know what you think. If you read some of these, let me know what you did. Let me know what you thought. If there's any books that you, you think you might, I might want to read, let me know. <coughs> mm. Thanks for watching. Very humbled that anyone will watch whatever I talk about very humbled and very excited to hear from you guys so with that being said thank you very much and thanks for spending your time watching this video I hope this video brings you find you in a good mood and if it's not hopefully it makes you in a better mood and um, hopefully I'll keep doing more videos like this and other stuff coming up soon when I get off my lazy butt. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.